Hey everybody, and welcome to another PSPP tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about chi-square tests. So this is sort of a two-parter. Uh, in this video, we're gonna do goodness of fit, and then in the next video, we will do test of independence. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so I found a, a little canned data example from Gary Fisk, uh, who created a PSPP for beginners, garyfisk.com. And so I'm gonna use this quick data set that he created. It's only got 20 cases, 20 college students. And um, we are going to determine uh, whether or not the we have the expected numbers of males and females in this group. So it's a very simple data set here. Uh, I'm gonna quickly show you variable view. So we have the sex variable here. We have the sex variable and the label is male or female. And you can see here, and then the value labels zero for male and one for me, female. And then here's the data. We have uh, 20, 20 cases. And so let's jump into the goodness of fit. So where you're going to find this is under analyze. Click on that. And we are going to non-parametric -param statistics. And we are going to grab chi-squared. Okay. And this is the test of the uh, goodness of fit. So the simpler one of the two, um, both leading to chi-squared. So we're going to put male or female into test variables. And you can see that the label disappears for the name of the sex. Okay. And we are going to get the expected range from the data. Or you could put in the lower and upper bounds, if you already know the ranges, uh, most often in this sort of situation, you're going to leave it as get it from the data, okay? Because you have no, you have no information as far as um, what the range is, the upper and the lower bounds. All categories being equal is again um, by on by default, and I would say that you um, would want this to be the case, especially for something like sex slash gender. Uh, in most cases, you're you're going to leave it as fifty fifty. OK, all uh, all categories equal. But if you had some idea about values, um, you would put that in using values one and then you would add it and you can edit or remove those as well. So that's getting a little that's getting a little into it. Um, but all categories equal 50 50. That's our null hypothesis. So let's go ahead and click OK. This one. All righty. So here we have down at the bottom because I this is from the regression. I'm recording them back to back. All right. So we have our chi square, chi square test sex. Very simple set of syntax there. And it's going to give us our male or female label here. And so we have our two values. And so we have our observed N. So that is how many in, in our, our set are males or females, as indicated by ones or zeros. So we have eight males and 12 females, totaling 20. The expected N would be 10 and 10, because that's 50-50. And so you can see that we are off by two in, in, in both cases. And so if we run the chi-square test on that, we get a chi-square of point. 8-0. This one's not going to be good. Degrees of freedom is 1, so we would uh, label that as N. So chi-square, so chi with the with a superscript square or 2, um, uh, parentheses uh, N equals 20, comma, uh, comma DF equals 1. I think it's how you uh, set that up. Or 1, comma, N equals 20. I had them, I had them reversed. And um, here we have the, a, uh, the a asymptote. I always mess up saying that word. Asymptote p-value 0.37 so you can see that with 20 cases it's generally equal we did not reject the null hypothesis we expected 10 in each group and we got just about that in each group so there you go it's the goodness of fit that's it that's how you do it if you like this video consider leaving a like if you like this content please consider subscribing for more of these tutorials and other psych related content thanks for watching